meet Creative Commons. Creative Commons encourages content creators to collaborate and share their work with others. This way, together, we can maximize the power of the Internet, nurture a spirit of innovation and encourage exchange of experiences and culture. Information and content can fly between us in exciting new ways. But it's important to know that when something is created, say a photo, a document or a music track, it's automatically protected by copyright. Copyright enables people to say who can share and reuse their creations. You must always obtain someone's permission before sharing or reusing their work, even when it's posted online. But what if a creator wants everyone to use their work, without the hassle of granting permission over and over? This is where Creative Commons can help. Creative Commons provides licensing tools that are free to use. You can apply a license to your work, which refines your copyright and streamlines how you give permission. So how do you create a video in five minutes using Creative Commons in YouTube? Well, the first thing you need to do is to really understand Creative Commons. And the best way to do that is go to creativecommons.org and learn a little bit more about Creative Commons there. The other thing that you can do is you can search right within the Creative Commons site for YouTube videos that have a Creative Commons license. Just go to search.creativecommons.org and you'll click on YouTube at the selection area down below and then enter your search terms and you'll come up with lots of YouTube videos that are licensed Creative Commons. But you can do this right from within the YouTube video itself. Go to your YouTube editor by clicking on the upload button on your YouTube channel. Then choose the bottom right option, video editor. And this will bring you to your video editor. And if you'll notice on the right hand side, there is two C's with a circle around it as one of your options for the type of video you want to use to create your video. Click those two C's, which stands for Creative Commons. And in the search bar, type in the terms that will generate a preview of some of the Creative Commons videos available on YouTube. You might want to put Lunar Eclipse or maybe a town or any other type of search terms. What type of videos might you find? Well, in 2011, when YouTube and Creative Commons launched this, there were 10,000 videos uploaded to YouTube. C-SPAN, Public Resource, Voices of America, Algeries. A year later, there were 4 million Creative Commons videos out there. I'm not sure how many there are now, but you could find all types of videos from lunar videos to vacation projects, maybe your own student videos or your own videos. So I decided to do this project on Creative Commons. So I typed in the search term Creative Commons and found some very nice videos that were Creative Commons about the topic of Creative Commons. Once I found the videos I wanted to use clips from, I dragged them down to the timeline bar. And I've got two videos right there. And once you've dragged them down, you'll want to split the videos and only grab the parts that you wanted using the little scissors that are in that blue playhead indication. Once you have the pieces of the videos you want, you can reorder the videos so that you can remix them. And then just hit the blue create video button. While your video is being created, it would be a good time to go check out the licenses. If you hit info and setting, you will notice that your video can be public or private and you can give it a title. But if you hit the advanced setting, you will get a choice to change the license and right ownership from standard YouTube to Creative Commons attribution. So why not make your new video Creative Commons? The nice thing about it is that your video attribution is built in. It will show you which videos you use to create your new video. I can't wait to see what type of videos you create using YouTube's Creative Commons search feature.